a lot of people prefer Sonny Crockett on the show, but me, <laughs> I'm strictly a Tubbs man. I've never seen the show. You've never seen Miami Vice? It's only the best show that's ever been on television. Ever! <laughs> it's in stereo, for Pete's sake. Oh, I'd like to see my niece. Sure, come on in. Blanche, I can't believe you're here. I mean, haven't you embarrassed me enough already? Lucy, can we please talk in private? Whatever you have to say to me, you can say right here. I have no secrets from, um... Ed. Ed? <laughs> <clears throat> if you need some privacy, you can use my bedroom. Thank you. Please, ladies, have a seat. Can I get you ladies anything to drink? Oh, no, thank you. I like your apartment. Thank you. It kind of looks like something out of Miami Vice. Really? Are you a fan of the show? I adore it. Me too! Miami Vice has been the biggest influence on my life. That's why I joined the police force. That's why I drive a fancy car. That's why I wear expensive Italian suits. That's why I'm up to my neck and hock. You can't afford all that stuff on a vice cop salary. Who knew, huh? Aunt Blanche, I'm a grown woman. I can live my life any way I want to. Oh, I know that. I just don't think this is the way you really want to live it. Is it my fault men find me attractive? No, honey, what they find you is available. And that's no compliment. I find this very strange coming from you, Aunt Blanche. Because from the stories I've heard, you're not exactly a saint. No, you're right. I do enjoy the company of gentlemen. I always have. But I can promise you one thing, Lucy. When I'm with the man, it's because I like him. Not because I want him to like me. Well, what's wrong with wanting to be liked? And Blanche, do you remember what I looked like as a kid? Oh, yes, I do. You were a beautiful child. I was not. I was short and fat with braces and acne. And I used to think to myself, oh, I would give anything to be just like my Aunt Blanche. To be pretty and, and popular with lots of friends. And then when I turned 16, it seemed like everything changed overnight. I shot up and out. The braces came off. And finally, the boys started to notice me. And it was nice to be noticed, to be liked. Oh, baby. Honey, you've been trying so hard to get everybody to like you that you never got around to liking yourself. And if you don't like yourself, you can't respect yourself. And if you can't respect yourself, neither can anybody else. Why don't you come on home? We still have one more week before you have to leave. I don't want to spend it fighting with you. I want to enjoy being with my favorite niece. No. <laughs> Okay, how about this one? What was the name of the informant who Crockett and Tubbs accidentally set up in the Cool Running episode? There's no way. That was Noogie, better known on the street as the Noog Man. <laughs> Rose, you're just incredible on Miami Vice trivia. I've never met anyone so smart. Ed, for a policeman, you've led a very sheltered life. <laughs> Come on, everybody, we're going home. <laughs> I just put popcorn in the microwave. Oh, listen, Ed, I I'm sorry. You're a nice guy, but I have to go. I understand, Lucy. Would you mind if I gave you a call sometime? Oh, sure, I guess that'd be okay. Not you, Lucy. I was talking to Rose. <laughs> oh, I, I don't think so. Are you sure? Tuesday night, I'm getting together with a couple of buddies. We're going through Don Johnson's trash. <laughs> Good night, Ed. We're going to go home now. And I want you to know we'll all sleep a lot better knowing you're off duty tonight. <laughs>